I'm trusting you not to lose these, okay? These are the only keys to the house so far. Got it. You go ahead. I have to call the movers to make sure my room dividers didn't break. Hello? Yes, yes, this is Miss Costella. I was calling to see if everything got moved in. Excellent, I'm so I glad to hear. I don't even. Now, about my room dividers. Uh, oh, thank goodness. I'd hoped it wouldn't be cracked when it got here. Of course, of course. Faith, could you grab a few boxes and carry them inside? Are you alright? Hmm... Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Faith? Huh? Finally, you acknowledge me. You've been unpacking that same box for the past hour. What's wrong? N nothing's wrong. I need a drink. No way. You're only 19, which means it is completely illegal for you to drink. No one said I was drinking alcohol. Faith, are you alright? Just forget I said anything. Actually, I'm gonna go out. I need to do something. Um, sure. Where are you going? Salon. See you soon, Nesson. Well, good for you. Remember, I'm making spaghetti tonight. If I sis, have fun. Be safe. See ya. Honestly, that girl worries me. Hello, welcome to Blow Dry Perfection. What can I do for you today? Uh, I'm here to get my hair cut and dyed. Alright, is there anything specific you'd like the stylist to do? Maybe some bleaching. Close to the roots. Alright, hun, I'll get the stylist and you can get started. Please follow me. I just don't understand what's wrong. She seems... odd. More so than usual. She hasn't been eating much for the past few days and hasn't talked much. She always looks outside the windows like something is there and... Well, it was your idea to move her into the city. 
Mom, please. We all know Faith did not like it at all when she had to move back into the countryside with you and Dad. She's definitely more into the busy, crowded streets of the city, which doesn't entirely make sense. Whatever you say, honey. I'm just glad that little brat is out of our house for the time being. She's always locked in her room and it got so annoying for me and your father. Why can't she be more like you and actually have friends? Mom, don't say that. Faith is just going through some issues. You don't have to be so harsh on her. The girl is just asking for attention. No, she is not. Whatever you say, dear. I would say I hope Faith gets better, but I don't really have faith in her. Mom, I don't have time for this. This is exactly why Faith never talks to you. I can't believe... You know what? Never mind. Just know that I have this situation under control. Alright, I'm trusting you with this one. I hope you'll knock some sense into her. Mom, I'm just... <laughs> Faith some. Bye, love. I'll call you soon. Sure. I'm home. Coming. How was your salon trip? Uh... What? What did you do to your hair? I just dyed and trimmed it. I don't see what the big deal is. Faith, it looks great and all, but what is Mom going to say? Oh goodness, she's gonna kill you! And she's gonna kill me for letting you do that to your hair! Hope. I'm 19. I think I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Am I suddenly not allowed to grow up a little? Faith, of course. I understand, but I can't believe you have the audacity to bleach your hair. It's not bleached all the way. Calm down. Plus, I needed a change. I'm just trying to look out for you. Why didn't you run this by me first? Says the one who went all punk in high school. That was an honest mistake. And what is with this sudden attitude, Faith? I understand you're going through depression, but this is too much. I dyed and cut my hair, so what? Am I suddenly not allowed to grow up a little? Of course, but this is just too extreme. You never were like this before. You were always so busy with your social life, making friends, being popular, and getting a boyfriend that you never gave a damn about me. Did you think I was going to be that little nerd, prancing around with a halo on top of her head and making out with her calculus books? I needed to do all that to have a successful career. Mom wanted me to... That you never paid attention to your own sister. Your own sister! That is not true! I have been having nightmares my entire life, and no one was there. Not you, not mom, not anyone. Those nightmares were all caused by you guys, and did any of you care? No. Because all of you were so wrapped up with your own little worlds, trying to be perfect. Faith, I never knew. Whatever. Look, I'm too tired for this. I need a nap. Faith, you alright? I'm sorry, if you had told me earlier, I would have tried to help. Well, she doesn't seem up to par now, does she? Excuse me? Oh dear. <sighs> I had this weird dream that a bird talked to me. How ridiculous is that? Hey! Ah! Okay, okay, enough with the screaming, lady. I know I'm gorgeous, but geez, I want to keep my hearing. Who, what the heck are you? I'm a phoenix. Duh. A what? A phoenix. You know, a magical flying bird that can... 
I know what a phoenix is, and you don't even look like one, but what are you doing in my room? Okay, rude. But what thing I am is your familiar. Flame burst. A what? 